When it comes to monitoring your competitors, you can do something simple as searching them on Google. Well, that's exactly what I used to do. But when it comes to monitoring your competitors' marketing stack, their ads, landing pages, with laser eye precision, you need access to some serious tools. In this video, I will share seven tools that you can use to improve your competitor intelligence and use it to dominate your competition. So the first thing which we will look at is Google Ads. If you're running Google Ads, there are chances that you can easily check what other competitors you're working with or playing with. So let me show you how that looks if we dive deeper into Google Ads. So I'm here in one of our accounts and for any campaigns which we run, we can easily verify and see what other competitors are competing against some of the ads and some of the keywords. So under campaigns, when I click on auction insights, I can see exactly which other brands or companies are actually bidding for the same keywords uh, for which, for example, we are bidding. And here I can see there's quite a few people or companies currently listed. And um, using a tool like Hrefs, I can see exactly what other landing pages or ads they're using. But at least from Google Ads, I can know exactly what companies or brands are currently competing against for the ads, for the same ads which we are running for. So hopefully that will give you some kind of insight, but obviously it can be connected to other tools and other things. So for example, uh, using Hrefs, um, I usually pronounce it the Hrefs, but it could be Ahrefs. Um, so within Hrefs, you can then copy one of these websites and see exactly what landing pages and ads they're running. Google Ads will show you the competitor landscape when you run ads. However, if you want to get an idea of the competitor landscape, you can use a keyword research tool like Hrefs. Although Hrefs is super powerful for SEO, keyword analysis and tracking, it also has a great feature in which it covers PPC keywords and landing pages. Let's dive deeper into the tool and let me show you how I use it for my own research. So I'm going to log in into Hrefs and under the Keywords Explorer, I'm going to type in the keyword for which I want to understand a bit more about the industry and what other people are doing for that particular keyword. So if my keyword is, let's say, software development, and um, here I can choose which country I want to see the data from, so I'm gonna keep it United States for now. Once I click search, as you can see, there's a lot of information out here about software development. The one area or one tab which I'm particularly interested in is the ads history. So there's quite a few things happening here. One of the first things, as you can see, it shows you three tabs and it can show you the traffic or the number of ads for a particular domain, which is by domain. And by landing page, just shows you all the different landing pages run across uh, different URLs. And if you click on all ads, it will show you the actual text and the copy of the ad what people are using across that keyword. So the way I particularly use it is through landing pages because when we're designing landing pages, we want to understand what people are doing, not to copy them, but just to kind of get a feel of what is out there already. And because if, if there's a company, let's say, um, I can see there's a company here called chetu.com. And as you can see, they've been running ads since 2015. So definitely their ads work otherwise they wouldn't be spending that much of money on google ads so i would be particularly interested in seeing what ads they're running and what landing pages they're using so if i see here when i click on the drop down here they're running 95 different types of ads and here i can click on each of these ads and they will open up on their landing pages the good thing about this is you're not actually costing them any any money this is all cached information from hrefs if you were typing this keyword into google and then clicking on the ad which i wouldn't recommend um, that's that would be costing your competition money which is kind of not fair so if if you click on this link it will take you to the actual landing page and from here you can see exactly what these guys are doing so what i tend to do is i would 
usually find these different domains which are running for quite a while and also by clicking on by checking the results by a landing page I will click on these landing page links and open them in different tabs and while I'm doing my research I will see and probably save them in, in a bookmark um, in under Chrome and go through them one by one and see what bits they're doing whether they're sending traffic to a dedicated landing page versus dedicated uh, microsite or a home page because as you know if you send traffic to a landing page you have less you know um, as you know once you send traffic to a landing page there's less distractions so I will do that research and understand everything about this industry understand more about um, this keyword and finally to put together an idea of um, things which we should test so we've seen we can get information of our competitors on Google but what about Facebook the good thing is there's actually quite a lot of stuff you can do on Facebook let's have a look I'm looking at a very complete random example so in case if you're seven districts coffee I'm sorry I just picked you but I'm not gonna do anything um, malicious here so typically if you have a competitor and you want to see what kind of ads they're running there's two ways you can get that information the first way is to obviously check out the page on Facebook directly and within a tab here which is page transparency this is something Facebook recently introduced and if you click on see all you will see a pop-up here and if you scroll it will show you ads from this page so it actually says this page is currently running ads which is cool this is exactly what we're looking for and if I click go to add library it takes me to a tab which basically shows all the ads they're running and I can easily see what ads they're running and how long they've been running it for and also different types of ads as well so for example this one's like carousel ad I can see all their details so if I click on see all details it even tells me like what kind of um, uh, like assets they're using and the description and the other copy of um, on the ad so similarly on this on this page you can actually search for more advertisers so if you know your competitor either through maybe like research from hrefs or even google you can type in the name here and um, and see exactly what ads they're running so I'm, i just clicked on unbounce and i can see what ads they're running at the moment again there's a lot of information which is useful here because you can see what type of imagery they're using and if they've been using it for quite a long time that tells you that the ad has been successful otherwise they wouldn't run it for that long I hope this is useful and you can check ad library to get more insights about your competitors. The other biggest advantage is to actually check what landing pages your competitors are using. So for example, within the within the ad library here, you can actually click on the call to action button and check where the traffic is going. So it could be a destination URL on the main website or it could be a landing page. So having that knowledge is really powerful because that helps you understand whether you should be using a product description page whether you're using for example and for an e-commerce store you could use a dedicated landing page so all of this stuff is is extremely useful and all this information is absolutely free because it's all on facebook and you can easily check all this data um, right now next up is similar web similar web is one of my favorite tools and here you can research tons of different data points and information but from for our case we're going to be looking at ppc landing pages so inside similar web click on the research tab and click on the search keyword analysis when you're here just type in the keyword so for example i'm using market automation tools and here i can see all sorts of different metrics but when i click on the paid tab on the left side I see there's a lot of information about the search volume, the cost per click, but I'm interested in the top 10 landing pages which appear. So these are the brands which are currently ranking and the best part, you can click on the destination URL. So this will actually give you the landing page which the, your competitor is using. So if I click on this link, it will take me to the page and I can confirm they're using an LP subdirectory which is short for landing pages and here the landing page 
yeah this is a perfect definition of a landing page because there are no links originating from this page to any other page and uh, yeah so this is really really useful and powerful and uh, again i'm currently signed up for a trial version and you can easily do this for free initially but if you if you see value you can sign up for the tool now you know what landing pages your competitors are using you can actually take that to the next step which is understanding what marketing stack they have on the landing page there's a tool which i use called built with and it gives you so much more information about the technologies used on that page so i'm um, i put my own example which is basically a landing page which we host on unbounce but if i type this in i can see the different scripts which are currently hosted on that page and also the technologies which are connected so for example i'm using active campaign facebook pixel google conversion google tag manager and also lots of other unbounce related stuff uh, which i obviously don't have control over but it does mention the content management system is unbounce um, and there's a lot of other javascript libraries information and all that stuff which could be useful so it's again understanding and keeping up with your competitors and maybe like you know surpassing your competitors at some point because all this information is useful and will help you improve your product and improve your landing pages one of the other tools which i found very powerful and useful is hexawatch hexawatch allows you to add your competitors so you can watch what changes they're making to their website or to a particular landing page or a web page. So it's very easy to set up an alert. All you have to do is click on monitored URLs and then add a URL. And then you can define exactly what you'd want to monitor. So for example, in this case, if I want to monitor a competitor and check whether they will make any changes to their website or their web, web page in the future, I can set up visual monitoring. And once I add the URL and set up some of the parameters, so for example, I can set up a notification channel that it actually sends me a Slack message rather than email. I can also set how often should this monitoring work. Once I add all this information, I can click on preview and it will actually find the mockup and add it here. So as you can see here, I've got my web page here, which I want to monitor. In this example, I'm using my own agency as a reference, but you would do this for a competitor and click on start monitoring. Once the monitor has been set up, you will receive an email or a Slack notification anytime your competitor makes a change on their landing page or their website. I hope you see how powerful this could be to keep a really close eye on your competitors. If you're looking for a more dedicated solution to monitor your competitors, I would recommend a tool called iEspionage. This tool basically does everything which we've covered so far, especially in organic or even PPC. So for example, in, I'm searching for unbounce.com and I can see what, how much they're spending. I can see some of the ads they're running in Google and uh, some of the other kind of keywords they're targeting. Um, at the same time, I can actually check some of their competitors who are running ads to obviously beat Unbounce, but I can also see their landing pages. If I click on any of these images, I can actually see a snapshot of the landing page. This is really amazing. This is a gold mine of information, especially if you want to understand what exact pages these competitors are running. If you want to try out this tool, I have put a link in the description. I hope you have enjoyed watching the video and found some value from it, which you can use for your next project. I've also linked all the tools in the description below. And before you guys leave, make sure to subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button. And as always, have fun working on your next project. Be a conversioner.